Like, Rambo was everywhere. Come on, like, what? Two weeks ago, I was watching Different Strokes, okay? On Different Strokes, yeah. they had an episode where, um, where, um, Arnold's stepbrother, Sam, goes to a birthday party, and it's a Rambo birthday party. They have a Rambo look-alike. They have a Rambo cake. They have, like, Rambo everything, you know? It was it was so saturated into culture that it was everywhere back then. You couldn't... There was at least ten episodes of... of, of that... of that show that talked about Rambo in, in, in one season or two seasons. I was watching the Goldbergs the other day. The Goldbergs also show based on the 80s and they they it was everywhere back then you know they, they had episodes where the Goldbergs were talking about Rambo uh yeah they, well one where they're making fun of Rhinestone oh and then it's like next on TV Dolly Parton and Sylvester Stallone in Rhinestone and the kid's like he can't sing he's Rocky he's Rambo he shouldn't be singing, and then the, then then George Siegel's like, can that man? There's not anything that man can't do, <laughs> or something like that. It's, it was pretty funny. Well, Stallone, uh, if you listen to Stallone, he is a good singer in a way. Yeah, I didn't mind Paradise Alley. I didn't mind it. Me neither. I like, I like that. I, I think that's an underrated movie. Mm -hmm. That's very underrated. Yeah, that's a great movie. That. That and Fist. Fist, another amazing, amazing movie. Lock Up. Lock Up, definitely. I was kind of wishing uh, Escape Plan would have been a little more Lock Up. Yeah. I, I got to see Lock Up in a theater when I was really young. Really? Yeah. My babysitter, Melinda, took me to see Lock Up with her boyfriend. Oh. They had gone to see you Batman. Did... Yeah, they, they saw Batman. And they didn't want to see Batman again. I got to go see Lock Up. That's cool. I saw. I wouldn't go see Batman, the first Batman in the uh, in the theater. I remember my parents. Uh, I could tell I was at summer school at the time because uh, I, I, I back then I didn't know what summer was. I had no idea what summer was. I uh, until I got older, and then I could tell. I, I could tell, that, looking back in retrospect, I could tell it was summer because I, I was in summer. I could tell I was in summer school at the time because uh, I remember. I remember my parents put, picked me up and, and put me in the car, and uh, they told me we we're, we're going to go see Batman. I was. I was like. I was really excited. So looking back at that in my head, I could tell that it was. Uh, I was in summer school. Nice. Yeah, the first Batman movie I got to see was Batman Two. Batman Returns in the theater. That was I was too young for. The yeah. history kind of repeated itself to me with that story of Batman and uh, summer school because I, when I first went to Chicago State University, I went I, I first went during the summer semester and The Dark Knight came out. So I saw another Batman movie while I was still in summer school. That was a great movie. So history yeah. was kind of, so history was kind of repeating like. Me. Sweet. That's mm -hmm. what it's all about. I saw. Let's see. What's the one movies that I see in the theater? I saw. I saw Lock Up. I saw Rocky Five. Which was awesome in the theater. Rocky Five was awesome in the theater because it was like, it was so different. Everybody shits on that movie because Rocky doesn't fight in the ring. You know, at the end. And also, be and also because he loses his money. Yeah. So when they when like we mentioned that we talked about this before when he loses he loses when he loses everything it's like what's the point about Rocky anymore Rocky's about going the distance you know and going for the goal going for your dreams mm -hmm. and now he's going back to this it's like we're going back to what we're trying to escape but the real mess I, I think one of the real messages in that movie I think is that he 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 won because he had his family and. He wasn't. Pride. Yeah, he wasn't tempted to go back that way of, you know, the money train. You know, he was kind of like 
he wanted he, he kind of like stepped down graciously you know like uh, at, with the first movie what like he didn't win but he went it but he won graciously he didn't yeah. he didn't actually win but he won because he, he was he didn't give up trying exactly so it's great I, I loved Rocky five for me it was great too because you know I I, I was I was only born in 79, right, when Rocky 2 came out. The first Rocky movie I saw was Rocky 3, and I saw it, my brother rented it, and I watched it, but it was cool because it gave me that feeling of, of um, what the first two Rocky movies kind of felt like, you know, going to see the fifth one in the theater, which I love that. And the, I, first, the, first Rocky, the first Rocky I saw was Rocky 4. That's a classic. Absolutely. Yeah. The only that was the only I, I kept repeatedly watching it every time it came on before I saw the other Rockies. And this is the time where I was getting into Rambo. I was like, uh, that's why I love Rambo more because I, I was more into Rambo than Rocky. But Rocky still had a thing around it. Yeah. With Rocky Four. So. Yeah. Yeah. Rocky Four. That, I yeah. wish I could have saw that in the theater. That would have been amazing. It came, it came out. It came out. It came out the same year as Rambo. As Rambo Two. Yeah. That was a big year, man. Sly was a household name that year. Yeah, it was a big year. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was his. That was his big year. That was his like his triumphant year mm -hmm. uh, professionally. Yeah. But I loved Rocky Five. And it's sad because after the year after, uh huh. Oh. And what was sad about it is that in the year after that, Cobra comes out and it's and it's like, uh, I think you're slipping. And but the movie didn't it wasn't really a flop. Yeah. It made back its budget, but it didn't do well as they hoped. But it still made back some money. It, it, it still was a hit. Yeah, it's not a bad movie by any means. It made name. a lot of money worldwide. Mm -hmm. It made a lot of money worldwide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because like it made a lot of money worldwide, and it's got it's got that action. I would say it's right on the same level as Rambo too. You know, for an urban environment because versus the war zone yeah. environment, it was damn crazy. Yeah. yeah, when they entered the town. Yeah. When they entered, entered the town and everything. Uh, and of course, short piece Cosmal has directed both those movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, when you talk about how it has the same level as Rambo, uh, going from from uh, exotic to urban, yeah. is what I'm hoping for Rambo Five. Yeah, definitely. Like definitely, they gotta do that. <clears throat> they gotta do that. Has to be done. Yeah. But briefly, briefly going back to Rocky Five. Did you see my? I'm, I, sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Very briefly going back to Rocky Five. I love that movie. I saw it in a the theater and it blew me away. You know, from the second it started, it was just crazy. That intro is just wow. You know. But yeah. Okay, back to you. <laughs> I just. Oh, no, no, it's no problem. It's no problem. I was, uh, did you see the posts I made on Facebook where I made it look like uh, I know I know you saw that one with Cobra when Cobra has a video game Xbox yeah yes sweet that would be amazing I I believe that's gonna happen like go all GTA style yeah drive that car around yeah, the city wow. yeah that would be great that would yeah. be a great one because they're because they, cause they made a lot of video games based off of old movies now. They came out with Scarface, they came out with some games for Rocky, and they came out with Ghostbusters and The Godfather. Almost and Dirty Harry, the almost. Players. They almost had yeah, a Dirty yeah, Harry game. There, there, was a, there was a Facebook page I'm on called Bring Back the Dirty Harry Game. They were working on that. They had, even in 2007, that, you know, when G4, the channel G4 was known for video games. They, they were at the E3 convention. And Clint Eastwood was there promoting it, and they had a trailer. Nice. And they got and they got and they canceled it for no good fucking reason. Oh, the gaming they industry. Some free, they, they even had some fucking screenshots for it. Yeah. And it looked amazing. It looked amazing. I would love to see that. Mm -hmm. And and that Snake Plissken game that uh. 
Oh yeah, they got they got some footage of that on YouTube as well. It looked amazing. Yeah, yeah, you showed me that footage. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and like that would be such a an awesome you know tie around too, is because you know you get the whole Metal Gear Solid part and the whole escape from New York and L.A. You know. Yeah. Imagine if Kurt Russell, if I know he said he'd never do it, but just imagine Kurt Russell in Metal Gear Solid movie. You know, that'd be kind of crazy. Maybe. I'm a, I, I like Metal Gear Solid, but I'm more a fan of a Splinter Cell. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 